These are the things that we want to address today. So let's get straight into it. So Lucy, tell me, what is it about modeling that you enjoy? Okay, so with the modeling side of it, I have struggled with body image for years and being able to do the boudoir side of things, it's really tasteful and it makes me feel empowered. And that's obviously what I like to show to other women and other girls my age and things like that. But it's mainly just the fact that I can just be me, be free. Okay. Enjoy. And so, if, for example, somebody has um, approached you and said, oh, well, we really like what you do, how does that make you feel? It makes me feel like I'm actually appreciated and I've been noticed, but okay. for the right reasons, not just the fact of, oh, she does this, and all the bad side of it, it's actually a positive, okay. and that really happens. Um, actually, I want to go a little bit more into that. What is the, what's the bad side of it? Like. So the bad side of it is just you're you're basically just branded like a slag or you're branded somebody who is just you know just goes with anyone or dresses a certain way for attention or okay. looks a certain way for attention mm -hmm. when it's not about that at all it's not that at all is it okay. no. so what is it for you like is it the fact that you i mean a big thing around about now is the whole mental health thing everybody has mental mm -hmm. health problems and they, that they need to address but when people think about things like boudoir that sort of internet setting of photography or videography they automatically assume it's all to do with sex yeah. and really it's not for somebody that does it all the time yeah there's never really been a situation where you thought anything to do with sex is there never so honestly never i know for a fact that when i have to go through that 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 process of doing like the photo shoots or the videography shoots and I'm going through all the editing and stuff. Not once have I thought, oh, well, she looks like this. Oh, wow. Mm. I've, always, I've always thought, okay, her eyes look exactly like this so we can show them the best this way or her hair is gorgeous so let's try and do it like this. Or, yeah. She's got great ratio between neck to, neck to shoulder so why don't we try and Rembrandt that a little bit and show the extent to the chin or it's never anything going to be, oh, I wonder if I can take her out on a date. Yeah, and that's why I noticed with you, and that's why I was, I've been so relaxed on shoots, and whereas I've been more relaxed with you than I have been with you with other photographers, because they just give off that vibe, and I think oh, you thanks. just know this. <laughs> I think you just know at the start how a photographer's going to be or a videographer's going to be. Sure. Um, yeah. I think, to be honest, a lot of the, the conceptions that come from people are, Strangely enough, I would say it's from people that have never done anything of the sort. So people will have this sort of opinion to say, oh, well, she's like this because she does this. But they've never actually done anything that would suggest that they would even know what they're really talking about. Would you agree? I don't think a lot of people actually do know what they're talking about. I think when you are when you do boudoir, um, it's obviously a bit different to glamour, but if you if you say to someone, if you say to the general public, if you say you're a glamour model, they just think, oh, so you get tits out just for laugh. Yeah, and it's not that. No, it's definitely it's not, not that. that at all. Um, so for those of you that don't know, boudoir really is about that female confidence, um, that 
delicacy really with the, uh, the appreciation of a woman so you can really accent her in the most natural habitat would you say that's right i'd say that's right yeah i mean one of the things that i know with the pictures that you take of me you try and capture my eyes more than anything sure because they're my best feature i've honestly say yeah um whereas you know other photographers are like oh you know you need to look a bit more that way or the other way so we can get your best side I don't think there is something as a best side. No. I, don't the, agree I think with the that. appreciation of um, beauty in itself is something that should be respected but also admired, yeah. but not put in a particular way where you can feel as if you're objectified. More so, mm -hmm. it should make you feel more of a woman. The fact that somebody else can see something of you that mm -hmm. they really do appreciate. Does that make sense? It makes, to be honest, that makes perfect sense. I mean, going back to like what you said half of the people who have a say about this are people who have never done it. I guarantee if, you know, every woman did it, 90% mm -hmm. of them would love it. Yeah. They would yeah. love they would love how they feel, they just feel empowered. Just it feel, is an experience, definitely. But you feel your most confident. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I for me personally, I feel my most confident in front of a camera. Okay, so let's let's go a little bit deeper. Okay. Um I know personally that you've had like a few issues with getting to where you are right now within the modelling and people's opinions and stuff, but where did that come from? Let's go a little Okay, more so into it. when I first started my modelling and started doing this, um, I had a lot of people's opinions and it didn't bother me. But I mean like what you say with mental health, mm -hmm. that can take a toll. Okay. So I had to take a break and figure sure. out is this something I want to do? Or I'm, you know, am I going to listen to what people are going to tell me? Am I going to listen to people's opinions who, they're not relevant in my life? So you took some time out from modeling, didn't you? Mm, and how did that go? I feel better for it now because I've actually re-evaluated it and I've come back into it. And I feel better. I feel mentally and emotionally ready to actually do something with it. Okay. So it wasn't the modelling then that was the issue, it was... I think it was the people's opinions, and you do, in an industry like this, and I think you can agree, you have to have thick skin. Yeah. You really, really yeah. do. And if you don't, it can have an adverse effect. Mm -hmm. And But like on the plus side, it is good for your mental health as well. I mean, I've got back in front of my camera and I feel better than ever. Mm. Now, anyway. But. I mean, I think... Well, we, we have um, ladies that come through all the time and the one thing that they always say without a shadow of a doubt is, oh my God, I didn't realise that I could look like that. I didn't realise I could look just like this. Or they like don't realise how beautiful they are. Yeah, and you say, well, all I've done really is just take the picture. The fact of the matter is, is you've taken the time to have the makeup done, get your hair done, feel good about yourself, and that just shows within the work within the work that oozing confidence and you can exactly. see it and it's yeah. the confidence part and that's what I lacked when I when I needed my break I was lacking confidence with everything sure it was body image it was everything I was just having a tough time but and where did that come from where did where did that lack of confidence come from it came from I think it was just the fact that I was just getting in my own head all the time and I was li like I said I was listening to what people were telling me in their opinions when their opinions are actually irrelevant you know? okay yeah. So, I mean, I hope you don't mind everybody knowing, like, right now you're 20 years old, mm -hmm. right? So, as a young adult, mm -hmm. what would you say to somebody who is also the same sort of similar age to you that's thinking, oh, you know, I'd love to do it, I just don't have the confidence? What would you say? I'd say go on a test shoot, like the days that you've run, mm -hmm. go on a test shoot, see how you feel in front of a camera, and I guarantee that people who say that they don't feel confident will be the most confident people in front of the camera. Sure. Honestly. Yeah. Okay, that's good advice, actually. Really? Um, and if you were to come across somebody now, mm. now that you are more confident within yourself, now that you know exactly what you want to do, mm -hmm. and they said to you, Lucy, is that not just like being a, a page three model? Mm. Like, why would you do that? Mm -hmm. What have you got to say to those people now? I wouldn't say, page three don't know. Old, it's old hat. Like you don't, you don't really hear about page three anymore, and it's not really objectifying women anymore. Hmm. It's, it's not really relevant anymore, is it? No, and it's like I'm the things that I'm doing are tasteful, 
and it's also the fact is it's not for anybody else it's for me mm-hmm. it's for me to feel good it's for me to feel empowered it's for me to get my confidence back mm-hmm. and if someone wants to knock my confidence then why do they want to knock my confidence they must have their own insecurities for them to be able to make those comments towards sure. me and so if for example now we'll take let's say 50 photos mm. right and you look back at those photos three four months from now how does that make you feel when you look and you see yourself and you think ah, that was me i mean that's what i did during my break oh, i literally it? had a look at my pictures <laughs> And I was thinking to myself, why am I not doing this? Why do I care what people think? I feel beautiful. I think that I look beautiful and I feel beautiful. Why am I letting what other people say or why am I letting myself think otherwise? When I'm, the proof's literally in front of me, I'm looking back at the pictures that I've taken. And acceptance and is a powerful thing, isn't it? And I think that's what we really need to get out to people more so than just looking past the fact that it's lingerie because essentially lingerie and bikinis they're pretty much exactly the same same one's waterproof (laughs) Um, but the other thing is is that the acceptance part of that i think especially in the younger generation they don't really have that sort of confidence i really feel that we would kind of need to push that motive yes so that people recognize what it does for you rather than what other people think it looks like who have never really experienced it. I think there's so much stigma and it's about breaking the stigma. Mm. There's so much stigma around boudoir modeling or glamour modeling or anything like that. Mm. Where a woman feels confident and sexy and lingerie, there's so much stigma stigma around it and it's like what? Yeah. <laughs> I mean it's it's a there, there is a big difference from boudoir and glamour. Glamour is more I would say it's more objectifying because it's aimed at a particular kind of genre mm. but boudoir in a way is more so i would say it's it's more intimate and more natural in its appearance um like the shots that we've taken where you know you're just in a lounge or a bedroom and you're just kind of gazing out the window that in itself is the most beautiful thing that you can imagine simply yeah. you could be that person that walks into that room and just stops and thinks wow oh my god Mm. That's that's what it means to me. Yeah. And that's the moment that we want to capture, rather than just, you know, a man with a camera in the backdrop and then just says, okay, well, pose this way, pose that way. Yeah, do this. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. That's, for, for me, in my head, that's how glamour is. And mm. You're like, oh, yeah. I mean, everybody's got nipples. Let's face it. Yeah. But, like, you know, I don't really want to see everybody else's. No. Whereas, I would love to see somebody in their natural element being as beautiful as it can be. I think as well with boudoir as well, obviously it's the lights and the shapes and things like that. And I think you capture the shape of a woman. Yeah. And I think there's a lot of women that don't realise how curvy they actually are. They just yeah. think that they're fat. Cause I mean, that's what I thought. Yeah. I was thinking, oh, I'm fat. And then I look back on the picture and it's like, I'm actually really curvy and I really <laughs> like my shape. <laughs> and I really like it. Yeah. Um, and that's the acceptance. And that's when I looked at it and I said, I actually look good, so yeah. why am I not doing this? Yeah. Especially when you've got somebody like such as myself and I'm mm. saying, well, there's not really a bad angle. Like, you don't need to ask me where you need to be. Yeah. Just relax and I'll capture that. Yeah. That's fine. We're good to go. Mm. You know, I mean, we, we recently just did some videography and like between the two of us, didn't we? And yeah. To be honest, it's just so relaxing watching somebody be able to just be themselves yeah. and not have to be somebody who they think they want to be. I think you can tell in the work whether when someone's forced or it's yeah. staged or whatever. Yeah. Whereas in the work that I've done with yourself, I've honestly said it's like it's the most comfortable I've ever felt on it. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that's because you it's just really relaxing and you know, you just let me do my thing and sure. you just capture it. Yeah. And then after that it's like, oh, okay. It's the this. essence of people, <laughs> yeah. I guess, yeah. I mean, like, guys, if you want to comment below, please feel free. Um, As you've seen, Lucy is absolutely (laughs) fantastic. She's more than willing to answer any of your questions. Lucy, you're on Instagram, aren't you? Yes. What's your Instagram? Um, Underscore Lucy Kathleen. Okay, perfect. So (laughs) get in touch. Let us know what you think. Any opinions, let us know what you want to do. Um, And we're always available. Let us know. 
so we have literally just finished our photo shoot. How did it go? Was it good? I feel amazing. Yeah? yeah. Feeling it's empowered? Really, it's really, really good. It was a good <laughs> shot, yeah. Okay, cool. So I guess, in essence, that's what it's really all about. It's that boudoir is about that female empowerment, that confidence, that feeling of, yeah, I can do whatever I need to do. I feel good. I am beautiful. Is that how you feel right now? I do. Really, really do. Perfect. So if you were going to say, hear somebody and say, oh, well, why do you do it? I would probably say that look on your face is, <laughs> that's why she does that's it. That's why I do okay, it. Okay, perfect. It's the feeling after. That's yeah. why I do it. And so explain to everybody, obviously, how that went for you. What, what were you feeling when you went onto, sh onto the set? How were you feeling when you saw the photos? So whenever I'm on set, I never actually feel nervous. I just feel really excited to see how the shot's gonna turn out. And the thing is with Lance, he'll show me what he's taken. And then if I don't like it, or I don't like the way that I look, we'll work with it. It's not just there and then like it's, it's taken. Yeah, of course. Um, but no, I think that we captured women empowerment in those shots. Like, hit it, seriously, yeah. yeah. It was okay, so, so guys, we will show a couple of those at the end of this video. Um, but absolutely, just have a look at what we do. Take into consideration, it says it all. Um, <laughs> and come follow us, click that like button, subscribe to us, Lance Imagery. Find me at Lance Imagery on Instagram and find Lucy. On Instagram too. So stay tuned, guys. Let us know what you think in the comments box below, and we'll hook up with you all soon. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? It's the end of the weekend, but I still wanna turn up. Yeah, I still wanna turn up. All I want is to go again, but you wait.